India has got innumerable monuments which are not documented. You go to any small town or village, there are some ruins outside which nobody knows about. ASI might know or not. So when you go to all these all these antique museums and antique shops, they are just taking away undocumented sites from their murtis and stuff like that. And there are still many more of them wherever you go. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a crowdsourcing project where kids at schools like yours can go and document history which is there around them, monuments which are there around them, turn them into museums in the school, make to turn them into a crowdsourced museum. So Iantra can host a server where all these schools that we are associated with, children are making museums of various things and making it available to other kids. And the other kids might be able to reuse those components in new ways to tell different kind of stories. Digital Heritage Project is a unique initiative by Department of Science and Technology, which supports collaborative projects between the researchers in the area of technology as well as humanities. This project highlights art, architecture and cultural legacy of the World Heritage Site, Hampi. We worked on the 3D reconstruction of Kalyan Mantap at uh, Hampi, uh, Vithala Temple. This is the uh, Kalyan Mantap at Hampi and actually this is again the way Sumantra said it's a photogrammetry. We use the large number of uh, photographs for each pillar, each skirting, each flooring and then uh, registered all of them uh, with a CAD model generated by the architects uh, who really went and measured things and then um, and this final rendering is been uh, created. Few of the things are, are done using AR, VR kind of experience with a mobile as well. Like if you have a, a stone chariot image, you can walk through the stone chariot in the mobile. We have a pillar and the details of the pillar and other things uh, can emerge. And these are all the, uh, the BTEC students did uh, um, a couple of years back and then uh, the students who actually uh, worked on these projects really got fascinated and started a company with a uh, lab in app was a company uh, where they started uh, synthesizing 3D labs, uh, virtual labs for uh, physics, chemistry and uh, other. And then uh, uh, recently last year uh, that uh, company has been acquired by, by Joe's. And now we are building a crowdsourcing platform. This The next video shows how the students or the anybody who registered with the site can uh, uh, upload the data and the data has been curated as well as uh, some backend processing is been done and the 3D model is been reconstructed and the 3D model they can uh, download the 3D model and actually this is one of the piece uh, near uh, uh, Chandramodi Shora temple uh, near near our uh, college it's again a Vijayanagara period uh, temple it's a, one of the broken piece uh, out of the temple which we reconstructed just imagine what the students will learn. They will learn about documentation, the importance of documentation, how to use computer resources more effectively, how to communicate the results, how to tell a story. Telling a story is one of the biggest and fundamental skills in life, whether you want to ask for a job or you want to ask for money, right? Telling a story convincingly using all these tools that you have at hand is a very important skill. So I feel that the students will be huge beneficiaries. The schools will be also. So join us to have fun with technology while you study history.